More and more people are undertaking renovations within their own home, especially with the cost of housing these days. It can add value to your home, improve your living areas, it can bring fresh life to a tired old space. But, as you know, the dollars can add up quickly. The good news is, you can do some of it yourself and save yourself some money along the way. In this video, we'll show you the main points that you need to consider when planning and executing a kitchen renovation. First, you need to determine your budget. Your budget will dictate whether you rejuvenate, renovate or relocate the kitchen. Rejuvenation is the cheapest option and it's great for just sprucing up the kitchen with a minimum of fuss. It's the lowest cost option that doesn't require any tradespeople. Importantly, you don't have to move any of your plumbing or electrical services. You would rejuvenate your kitchen if it's in reasonable condition and you just want to give it a facelift. Primarily it's DIY, it is much cheaper and faster than a renovation or relocation. You don't have to use as many tradespeople. The steps required for a rejuvenation are look at what you have existing and use the existing cabinets. Then decide what can be painted over. Can you use the existing doors for example and put new handles on them? There's some great floor finishes, bench tops, handles, tiles and wall paint. Painting's a great option. Go in store and choose a colour scheme. It makes a big difference for not much work. Then tape up the areas required to paint. Paint the laminate bench top, splash back in cabinetry, followed by changing of the handles. This is a great result for a low cost option. Take a look at these rejuvenations. Next is renovation, where you keep the same layout and services, but you update your bench tops, cabinets and appliances. Like a rejuvenation, you don't need to move the electrical or plumbing services. It's primarily quicker and more affordable than a relocation and requires less tradespeople. The first thing you need to do is determine a budget, then gather inspiration and seek expert advice. You can do this by using in-home kitchen consultants, store kitchen displays, online galleries and in-store kitchen experts. This will help you choose your cabinetry design and layout as well as your colour and styling scheme. Make sure you coordinate the demolition of your existing kitchen with the arrival of your new one. To start your installation, rough in any additional electrical or plumbing requirements. These need to be done by licensed tradespeople. If you are planning a larger renovation, think about relocating your kitchen to a new space. A relocation is where you completely move a kitchen to a new space or change the layout entirely. You would do this if your kitchen needs a replacement and you have the required budget. Don't forget, you need to use licensed tradespeople to move these services. Doing a relocation kitchen is very similar to a renovation in the planning and installation stages, so follow these steps above. Stick to your budget. Seek advice either in-store or online. Then, like the renovation kitchen, purchase your selected items, then begin the installation. It may be a bit more expensive, but a kitchen relocation can truly transform a space exactly like this one has done. So there you have it, and that's how to renovate a kitchen. Before you get started, contact Cancel to ensure you're complying with all of the rules and regulations. For a step-by-step -step guide on how to create a particular kitchen style, check out our DIY Renovation Solution Series. Thanks for watching. You'll find everything you need to complete this project on our website, or just keep watching for another video.